Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a shamanic astrologer. Today I will be analyzing for you the upcoming new moon in Leo that is happening on the 4th of August. So I don't know how are you guys feeling after the last full moon in Capricorn and especially after, I would say after the last month we had, because we had two full moons in Capricorn, but I feel absolutely tired and exhausted. I read all of your comments under the previous video and I was resonating so much with so many of you and it has been so hard, so exhausting for me. So I was really keen to read about the study, the upcoming, uh, study about the upcoming new moon. I was like, I was wishing it's going to be a good one. And actually it's really amazing one. So I'm very excited to share the good news <laughs> with you. <laughs> so we have a new moon in Leo. And in general, every time we have a new moon is an opportunity for us to start a brand new cycle, start from, uh, from scratch, start from, start from the beginning again, plant new seeds. And Leo is connected with the energy of the sun because the sun is ruling Leo. And Leo is also representing our, our vitality, our energy, right? This is the Leo sun energy. So in general, when we have, when we have a new moon in Leo, it's always a very good time to start something because we are feeling so also energized with this energy. But under this new moon, what is happening the day after we have Mercury starting its retrograde. So Mercury starts its retrograde on the 5th of August in Virgo, then will retrograde into Leo and it's going to be in retrograde until the 28th of August. So it's like, we want to start something new. And it's like, like, wait, 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 wait. We have to, to work with some patterns first. You cannot start something new like that. Wait, go back, step back. <laughs> So this is really very, very interesting cosmic coincidences, as I always call them, these alignments. So before I analyze everything, if you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can support my work and I can continue making these videos for you guys. So as I say, I always say the truth, this new moon is a positive one, has only good aspects. Yes, <laughs> we want that. And also uh, is coming together to work with the Mercury retrograde. So every time we have a new moon uh, or a full moon and comes very close to a beginning of a planet comes retrograde, this energy works together. So we, it's kind of, this new moon is like bringing this retrograde, like, okay, welcome it. Uh, Leo energy is very much connected with our inner child. Uh, it's connected a lot with expression, creativity, playfulness. Uh, it's also uh, energy, like very bold energy, courageous enthusiastic energy is like the most shiny energy we have because it's ruled by the sun. Now, this particular new moon in Leo is a lot about us connecting with our soul gifts, soul gifts and talents, what we love doing, <laughs> what do we really love doing. And this energy comes forward. The moon does three amazing aspects, sextiles, Mars, the planet of action, the planet of materializing, the planet of our masculine, sextile, sextile is a good aspect, sextile Jupiter, the best planet of abundance, expansion, opportunities, and trines, which is also another harmonious aspect, the North Node, which is our karmic destiny, how our soul expands in this incarnation. So new moon in Leo, fully charged with the sun energy, with these beautiful three aspects. This gives us this, this cosmic opportunity, as I always call it, to connect connect with what, what makes us feel good in terms of like what we love doing, what are our natural gifts and how we can express them, how we can create through this gift, how we can use them to create. So this is really, really amazing one. Now, as I said, Mercury starts retrograde the day after, and this is going to be a lot of mental energy because Mercury is in Virgo, retrograde in Virgo, and the ruler of Virgo is Mercury. So it's Mercury in Virgo is like the most powerful, let's say, Mercury retrograde we can have because Mercury rules Virgo and, and Gemini. So this makes us a little bit in our head. So you might already feel, I'm recording this video a week before, you might already feel this like, I call it analysis paralysis, analyzing so much, going into mental loops, mental fogginess. So a lot of thoughts, I would put it in a simple way, many, many thoughts. This is because of Mercury, preparing preparing us for the retrograde in Virgo. So 
this new moon comes like okay you have to you have to find you have to find what you love doing you have to find your soul gifts you have to what is what is your heart there telling you what do you like doing you know and then the retrograde is like yes but you have to deal with your mind because your mind the virgo energy is telling you i'm not good enough how i'm gonna do it i'm, I'm 40 years old now how i'm gonna start something like that i'm 60 years old i'm 70 years old how i'm gonna do something like this and also uh, criticizing yourself uh putting yourself down and all these thoughts and all these like what other people will say and all these kind of things this is like very much like <laughs> this is very good energy there and this new moon wants us to really step into it so you will find the whole month of august is going to be retrospective energy it's, it's an energy it wants to take in to go uh, <laughs> it, it will help you to go into yourself it's like a reflective energy and always i always say mercury retrograde is an amazing time to tap into our subconscious patterns and also to uh, be aware of our dreams because our dreams has, have a lot of information about our subconscious patterns so really amazing to do the dream journaling under this period of course so uh, oh, under this whole month of august we're gonna be like it's a beginning guys it is a beginning we're gonna start taking the next the first action towards what we like to do what is our soul gift we're going to take the action but the whole month is going to be this reprogramming i will say better of all these things that are stopping us of doing this so let's say i'll give you an example you you want to your your gift is let's say music you never explore it and you want to to learn to play an instrument and this month you will you will feel this so strong call is like no i have to do it you will start learning it but also you will take the action that's why i said you will take the action and this is going to be also connected with your destiny what your soul wants to experience and also the opportunity energy of jupiter but it will be also the mercury retrograde telling you oh quit procrastination you are not good enough why who are you now you are you're too old you have to learn instruments when you're young <laughs> what are you doing now you know and this can apply to anything you want to. I'm just giving this example about the music. So this is the thing. In the whole month, we're going to be letting go of more of these things. Like, no, no, no. Plus, under this new moon, uh, Mercury is conjuncting Venus. They are together. <laughs> they're in different energy. Mercury is in Virgo. Venus is in Leo. But they're in conjunction. And Venus is like, no, no, no. Let go of all this mind and listen to your heart. I'm touching the microphone. <laughs> I put it very high so I don't touch it all the time. So Venus is like, okay, it's mind, Mercury, VS, pleasure of life. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy what you do. You, you, will, you want to play an instrument, enjoy it when you do it. Stop thinking of all these things like, ah, oh, how I'm going to learn and I need 10 years and when it's going to end and maybe I should just let it go and all these things. So. This is also the energy and Venus is a lot about being present and enjoying life. It's a lot about this energy. And another thing is about the mind is like taking, take, takes us out of being present. So of course we cannot enjoy life if we're in our head because we're going to be like, so, 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 so. even you can be sitting like on a calm beach, nothing is happening, but you will be so agitated because your mind is going to be Toads, 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 right? <laughs> this happens to me a lot. <laughs> That's why I give this example. Uh, another thing under this new moon, we have Mars uh, conjuncting Jupiter. Mars is in Gemini and Jupiter are, is in Gemini. The planet of action conjuncting the planet of abundance. So yes, it talks, it talks about a beautiful abundant action. Now it's like, it's really good for you to step into that, take this action, but also know that this action is not going to move forward until this mercury retrograde ends because you have to deal with your mental patterns that are stopping you from this path so it's really amazing so i love it i love it so much i love it so much so but it's very we are very supported at the moment so everything that is happening is, is positive so we are we are supported into this process it's not like hard hard <laughs> aspects or something we are supported and a lot of this a lot of the themes also will be with the inner child Mercury later will retrograde also in Leo and then it's going to be where themes of the inner child also will start coming up. Playfulness, our creativity. How we, su how we suppress our creativity, our playfulness, our inner child from our young age. How much they sat us down and they said, you have to be responsible. You have to be serious for your life, you know. You have to take care of a family. You have to 
be a householder or whatever you have you're supposed to be doing is like and all this they took away from us all of this you know but what i love doing what is what is my passion what is my heart wants to to do you know <laughs> yes okay so this is i find it really amazing because it takes us also away from all this program you know of responsibility seriousness of life do do this 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 is like like robots and it's like yes this does that that does that really makes you sign does it or is it something else and what is the most important the most important is to be like the sun to sign and to do the things that we love because we come in this incarnation to do what we love we don't come here to suffer <laughs> for sure this is absolutely I know the Buddhism, I study Buddhism myself and other kind of uh, philosophical disciplines say a lot about this. I absolutely myself don't agree with this. <laughs> Nature never told me this. Nature told me the opposite of that, that we are not here to suffer. This is absolutely a mind program that is not real. <laughs> we are here to really enjoy and we are here to love every day. Love life, not love only other people, just love life and love everything that we do. So there is no suffering. It's just an illusion, the suffering that was created and is created in the mind, right? So I wish you guys all a beautiful, beautiful new moon. Take this opportunity to tap into <laughs> a horn from the street, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, tap, to this, uh, tap to this energy to really connect with really what your heart is telling, what you really love, what is your natural gift. Everybody has a gift everybody has a gift there is no person in this planet that doesn't have a gift doesn't have a natural talent we all have and we are all special and not anybody is more special than the other that's what i love right because everybody is like having a different piece and when we come together it's like ah, i'm good at that ah, i'm good at this oh you know i don't know about that so it's like we all come together and also we co-create things after so embrace your gifts whatever is your gift embrace it love it and let go for this uh, mind energy that is stopping you to do it so i hope you enjoyed this video um, thank you so much for listening and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now